Hey, this is Wolf with the Milago Network, and today we'll be taking a look at Guns for Sale, or rather, the uh, marketing system in Far Cry 3. You know, sale, trade, purchase, anyway. When you go to any one of these kiosks, you have a variety of things to purchase, uh, from all the way from ammo, handguns, assault rifles, to maps, and uh, syringes, and body armor. So you, you can buy medicine and, and uh, body armor here. It goes by percentage, and also under ammunition. You've, uh, you, you can uh, buy ammunition separately, which is more expensive, but if you're willing to spring for the 500, you can refill your inventory completely to the brink for a 20% uh, discount on the entirety. Meaning if you purchase it all separately, it costs 20% more. Now, um, how this works, you unlock different weapons for free, to use for free, by conquering radio towers and more weapons to purchase by conquering radio towers and missions too. You've got your standard uh, standard array of guns. You've got handguns, uh, small machine guns, shotguns, assault rifles, sniper rifles, light machine guns, the rocket launchers, and special weapons such as, well, not all weapons. One is a repair tool, which you can use to repair vehicles that you find stranded on the side of the road or repair your own. And a uh, flare gun, which is basically used to distract enemies or set other people on fire, a stealth weapon, the recurve bow, and the flamethrower. Now, just about each can be customized, each weapon, so you can, uh, Customize it with either sights, magazines, uh, barrels for pistols, and paint jobs, as you can see here. Now, I'm not sure if you can unlock uh, other paint jobs you know, throughout the course of the game, but most guns allow up to two um, customizations to be added. For instance, I decided to use a stealth approach on my small machine gun, being a sound suppressor and a reflex sight, as I prefer that over the red dot. And now on to the selling, well, also maps, which you can uh, um, buy maps of each area, similar to, I believe, um, Infamous or Just Cause, regardless. You can buy maps of each area and see all of the loot chests, like the little diamonds that you see on the map, for the entire area. You can also do that for um, collectible items, such as uh, memory cards, well, those are in every base, and relics. Now for the selling mechanic, uh, you pick up all kinds of random junk. You've probably been wondering what these gemstones, red poker, uh, poker chips, uh, sunglasses, if you could actually wear those or use those. Well, no you can't, and you especially can't use the used cocaine packets or heroin needles. The only thing you can do with it is sell it. And you sell this junk by clicking quick sell, and it uh, sells all the useless junk that you cannot use in the game. It doesn't sell anything like hides. And, uh, for instance, right here we got 13 items to sell for a total of 3 to 20 bucks. I'm going to click OK. And other things are, of course, herbs and um, hides. Now, personally, I've basically unlocked everything, so I have no need for these leopard skins anymore. So we're just going to sell those right now. 25 bucks a pop, not too bad. And we've got use for these green leaves, you know, but we already have uh, a couple syringes, so we'll sell them. Well, quick tip if you're on the PC, just double click. Enter to sell a bunch of things quickly. Double click, enter. That way you don't have to move your mouse. So that's about it. Uh, of course, the number of items you can carry is limited to how far you have unlocked your pouch. For instance, I have my uh, loot rucksack um, to the highest, uh, upgraded to the highest degree that you can manually. However, you can unlock the extended rucksack which will um, store 96 loot items if you complete a path of the hunter quest, which we'll make a video on eventually, which will probably be fairly soon. Regardless, you're also limited to how much money you can carry. Right now, I'm limited to $6,000, but I believe it goes up to yeah, 10,000, which is also a path of the hunter quest. You're also limited by ammunition in the same regard. So that's, uh, that's about it on these subjects. You can't sell syringes, however, once you've made them. And nothing is refundable. So if you want to unlock, for instance, this F1, um, you're going to pay a pretty penny for it. You know, that's 1,000, 40, 50 bucks. And most of these you're going to unlock anyway with more radio towers. So it's really a question of a waiting game. If you're, uh, if you're willing to wait or not, which I'm not, you know. The only thing uh, you can use your money on, aside from weapons in this game, is uh, syringes, body armor, customizations for your weapons, and paint jobs. So, you know, it's not like it's any short supply. Anyway, that has been the mechanics of uh, 
the economy in Far Cry 3. Thank you for watching, and um, please check out our channel for other Far Cry 3 related videos and um, various video game content, including walkthroughs and reviews and more strategy guides such as this one. If you like this video, please like it, uh, subscribe, and comment. Take care. We'll see you again next time.